I think the first thing is an experience would tell me is not to accelerate too quickly despite the time constraints. There's no point in busting people up in week one and every coach will tell you that you want your fit, your boys fit and raring to go come game one, not in pre-season one. So you need to take a graduated strategic approach to that. Uh, and as I said, be very strategic and understand what your priorities are. But no, it's, uh, it's exciting to have new faces, you know, new energy. Um, it's great to have the boys come in and, and you know, start to integrate and, and help move us forward. A lot of planning for coaches and being ready and be using your time specifically because obviously there's international windows and whatever, you've got to really be clear on what you're going to focus on and you obviously have got last year's performances and also to work on, but also get better at the things that you want to be the for, at the forefront of your team. So yeah, it's about being better at what we're trying to be, but also addressing the specific things that you know we found out about ourselves as we've gone along. But it was important coming back here that we've got a uh, training facility that matches our ambition and also that match you know the, the resources that we require in order to get better and get better as soon as we can. So there's been a huge amount of work in this and. Uh, you know, Corin Palmer and his team have done exceptionally well. Backs on already, but we're in a we're in a we're in a match to the stack. Hey, Jack. Um, <laughs> 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 <laughs>